as we're talking about this, I should mention that one of the really cool and noticeable things about cursor is that there's this whole diff interface situation going on. So like the model suggests with, uh, with the red and the green of like, here's how we're gonna modify the code. And in the chat window, you can apply and it shows you the diff and you can accept the diff. So maybe can you speak to whatever direction of that? We'll probably have like four or five different kinds of diffs. Uh, so we, we have optimized the diff for for the autocomplete. So that has a different diff interface than, uh, than when you're reviewing larger blocks of code. And then we're trying to optimize uh, another diff thing for when you're doing multiple different files. Uh, and and sort of at a high level, the difference is for when you're doing autocomplete, it should be really, really fast to read. Uh, actually, it should be really fast to read in all situations. Uh, but in autocomplete, it's sort of, you're, you're really like your eyes focused in one area. And you, you can't be in too many, you, the humans can't look in too many different places. So you're talking about on the interface side? Like on the, the interface side. So it currently has this box on the side. So we have mm -hmm. the current box. And if it tries to delete code in some place and tries to add other code, it tries to show you a box on the side. You can maybe show it if we pull it up on cursor.com. This is what we're talking Go about. Out. So that, exactly that box, here. it was like three or four different attempts at trying to make this, this thing work. Where first the attempt was like these blue crossed out lines. So before it was a box on the side, it used to show you the code to delete by showing you like uh, like Google Docs style, you would see like a line through it. Oh, yeah. and then you would see the, the new code. And that was super distracting. And then we tried many different, you know, there was there was sort of deletions, there was trying to red highlight. Then the next uh, iteration of it, which is sort of funny, would you, you would hold the on Mac the option button, so it would it would sort of highlight a region of code to show you that there might be something coming. Uh, so maybe in this in example, like the input and the value uh, would get would all get blue. And the blue would to highlight that the AI had a suggestion for you. Uh, so instead of directly showing you the thing, it would show you that the AI, it would just hint that the AI had a suggestion. And if you really wanted to see it, you would hold the option button and then you would see the new suggestion. Mm -hmm. And if you release the option button, you would then see your original code. Mm -hmm. So that's, by the way, that's pretty nice, but you have to know to hold the option button. Yeah. Uh, so it, by the it way, was, I'm not a Mac user, but I got it. <laughs> it was, it was. It's uh, a button, I guess. <laughs> you people have. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's again, it's just, it's just non-intuitive. I think that's the, that's the key thing. And, and there's a chance this, this is also not the final version of it. I am personally very excited for um, making a lot of improvements in this area. Like uh, we, we often talk about it as the verification problem, where um, these diffs are great for small edits. Uh, for large edits, or like when it's multiple files or something, it's um, actually a little bit prohibitive to to review these diffs. And uh, uh, so there are like a couple of different ideas here. Like one idea that we have is, okay, you know, like parts of the diffs are important. They have a lot of information. And then parts of the diff um, are just very low entropy. They're like exam like the same thing over and over again. And so maybe you can highlight the important pieces and then gray out the, the not so important pieces. Or maybe you can have a model that uh, looks at the diff and, and sees, oh, there's a likely bug here. I will like mark this with a little red squiggly and say like, you should probably like review this part of the diff. Um, and ideas in, in that vein, I think are exciting. Yeah, that's a really fascinating space of like UX design engineering. Yeah. So you basically, trying to guide the human programmer through all the things they need to read and nothing more, yeah, like optimally. Yeah, and you want a, an intelligent model to do it. Like currently, diffs algor diff algorithms are, they're like, like they're just like normal algorithms. Uh, there is no <laughs> intelligence. Yeah. Uh, there's like intelligence that went into designing the algorithm, but then the, there there's no like you don't care if the if it's about this thing or this thing, uh, as so you want a model to to do this. So I think the 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 general question is like, Matt, these models are going to get much smarter as the models get much smarter. Uh, the, the changes they will be able to propose are much bigger. So the, as the changes gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the humans have to do more and more and more verification work. 
it gets more and more and more hard. Like it's just you need you need to help them out. Yeah. It's it sort of I I don't want to spend all my time reviewing code.